Hi, Rigsters here, back with another War Thunder Blunder episode in the now in the F7F Tiger Cat. And that has four 50 cal machine guns and four 20 millimeter M3s. Very fast firing cannons for its caliper. And I'm gonna take it out for a spin. So let's get to it. So this plane is very quirky. It has a strange supercharger system that at certain altitudes it actually hurts your plane performance. Have to be between I think three thousand thousand or three thousand meters, and then it actually works. So weapon actually slows you down because it's gaijin. Broken physics, baby. You got it. So it's a boom and zoom plane. The rate, the roll rate is kind of abysmal. It's not really that good at rolling. It's a boom and zoom. So. You just basically climb, dive, run away if you can, kind of stuff. And let's see what we got here. We faced off against the Japanese and the Germans. So it's allies versus Axis. And we'll see what's what. This plane is a decent climber. It's not the greatest climber, but it can get there. It is faded, meaning I have all the upgrades. I can climb at 4,900, so that's about right about 15 16 degrees now granted you can't really take those stats verbatim because it outside of ammunition count and so occasionally even the top speed things wrong it's uh, very wonky in this game the only things you can rely on stats wise is sometimes the top speed the ammunition count one second burst mass repair costs and turn time and rate of climb is situational and that height doesn't always tell you and max altitude is not always a good indicator of how high you can really go I mean my god if you go to 12,000 meters at this point you're gonna be there taking a long time and nothing makes your blood boil more than the C you guessed it the JU-288C but this plane's firepower is pretty capable it can actually uh, hurt them, per se. It's just surviving them is another thing. But even with these cannons, it can be really tricky. So we'll see. I'll go after it, but I'll tell I'm warning you, this may be a very short video. Depending on how this goes, or if the attacker attacks him. Yes, it's like in a Pokemon. There you go, attacker, attack! As one of my friends once said. It's pretty funny though. It's like it's like a Pokemon. It's a British uh, jet aircraft. In all seriousness. Yeah, let's see if he actually kills him. Set him on fire. He thinks he's got him, but he doesn't. That's only one engine fire. That's enough. Not enough fire. He's gonna put that out. Yep. You see, the magic wonders of Gaijin belts at work. Alright, so, in all seriousness, I need to get a little bit closer. Oh, I'm real, this is really dangerous. You don't know how deadly these damn things are. Alright, one kilometer now. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a long burst. There we go. Then turn the hell away. Sorry, I do... Apologize, attacker, if you ever do watch this video, but he didn't know, or is coolest. Most likely didn't know. Most people in this game do not actually know that quirk. Only people that have told me and exper you experience it for yourself over time you learn these things. But I'm getting the word out that the JU-28C, one engine fire is not enough. You've got to put the full amount in. You've got to cash your chips in and hope for the best. <laughs> Just like that. I normally don't like doing that. If a player I see clearly sets the plane on fire and it's going down most of the time, yeah, I will let them have it. In that case, you cannot. That plane is too dangerous and it's too stupid to not let go. So, with that in mind, I see a P 51 here. Looking like he's getting attacked by a J 6 K 1. Oh, that's that premium Japanese plane. Okay. I think it's premium. It's a pretty good point. So I want to make sure I give it a wide berth here. 
Still have plenty of ammunition. Probably not a good idea to really engage that since he obviously uh, left them alone. I'm gonna leave them alone too and just climb back up. I reduced my throttle power a little bit. Just to 96% and do a 15 degree climb here. Want to make sure I gain some altitude. Because altitude is life in this game, just like in Isle 2. And now we have the team going at him. Ah, there's the attacker. Huh? Oh, that's an HE-177. Now, occasionally they can be deadly, and I still use the 288C. So now we got 100% power again. Gain some speed. And let's see where they're going. Hmm. Yeah, the ME-262 I only can catch in certain cases. Want to make sure I have altitude and speed to catch them. It's a one pass, go out, kind of thing. A lot of points here. Let's see your SU-9 is going after the 109. Okay. Start diving. Don't want to go too fast. Don't want to go too slow either. So I'll catch this HO-229. That is a German jet aircraft. Let's see here. Ooh, close. There we go. Let's jump to Alright, next aircraft. There we go, another one shot, damn. Sorry, I got a little too hard roleplaying there. Let's go and take on this MK1. That was your furry. I didn't expect this to go this well today. Alright, let's see if... Oh, never mind. He got his... He got a Taco Bell. <laughs> that point definitely took a massive dump. That's for sure. Remember, kids, don't go to Taco Bell KFC. The toilet will thank you later. <laughs> But in all seriousness, this actually was pretty good. Three kills. That's a pretty good match performance so far. We have what? The infamous plane and the fighter. Still have enough ammunition to fight, so let's just climb back up again. So, the infamous plane. Actually, I don't think it's the infamous plane. I think it's, uh. Actually, I don't know what to do. I mean,. This is not what I expected so far, but I am happy about it. But having those extra cannons with the 50 cals really help a lot. The ammunition build I use for the 50 cals, because this is the earlier 50 cal version, is I use the ground belts, and for 20 millimeters, once you unlock that, is air targets. Oh, mission done. How about that? Okay, well. This is actually a really good match. Now let's see how much I would have earned without premium. Without premium, let's see here, plus 10,000. That would have been a 23,000 line match, approximately, because the game doesn't always tell you what you earn without premium. It just assumes you want premium only. Plus the win, so realistically, this would have been a 10 to 20,000 line match after that result, especially considering the position on the team. So, that actually was a very good demonstration of the F7F Tiger Cat. Do I recommend it? Well, yes, but no. Yes, because those situations it does well in. No, if you don't know the quirks or want to put in the grind, because it's not an easy aircraft to fly because of those quirks, of the bad roll rate, and the awkward web situation that still hasn't been fixed, apparently. Or maybe this is just how it's modeled. It's probably more like the latter. But man, when you pull it off, it's very rewarding. And it's also cheaper than the F-82 to repair fully spaded. The F-82 will bankrupt you if you die too often. The F-7F, max speed cost, 7500 So... It's a lower altitude, think of it as a lower altitude F-82 at a higher BR. Very good acceleration, very good firepower, just very quirky. So with that, hope you enjoyed this video. I do run a Ko-Fi page if you wish to support the channel. And this is Rickster's Journey, signing off.